don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. It's a fine morning here. As usual, I'm your host, Selassie Fiawa. You welcome back to the channel. Today, the focus is on the Black Queens. Yes, you all know they are taking part in the Wafu Championship in Cote d'Ivoire and they've won their first game 2 0. Yes, they beat Senegal 2 0 and are going to face Togo today. I'll give you the starting lineup, but I'll let you see. We'll hear from Coach Messi Tego who after the game against Senegal spoke about the strategy she used to win the game and how she motivated the Black Queens ladies for the game against Senegal. Mukarama Abdullah grabbed her debut goal for the Black Queens after shining last year at the Under-17 World Cup for the Black, Black Queens as well. As usual, if you are new to the channel, I advise you to subscribe to this channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates. So let me just jump right into it. I'll start off with the Black Queens. As I said, they on Wednesday, they faced Senegal and they beat the Senegalese to nil. Mukarama Abdullah was on target in her debut for the Black Queens. This lady has done really well for Ghana football. She won, she was she shown last year and as a 17 World Cup, we were eliminated by Mexico on penalties, unfortunately, after starting so brightly at the World Cup. So let me read the story to you right now. The story says two second half goals from Evelyn Bedu and Mukarama Abdullah handed Ghana a 2 0 win over Senegal in the opening match of the Wafu Women's Cup of Nations. Now, the Black Queens put their title defense on track with a deserved victory over their counterpart as they've starred Robert Champro. After a scoreless first half, Ghana returned from the break much stronger and rewarded themselves with a score in the 74th minute from the foot of Bedou. Substitute Mukarama Abdullah came off the bench to snatch the second for the Black Queens in added on time as the defending champions picked their first win in the competition. Now defender Janet Ejiri was adjudged the best player of the pitch. Meanwhile, Cote d'Ivoire top group A after triumphing over Togo 5-0. In the first half, the Black Queens well, in the first half, the Black Wings will next face Togo in a game which could see them book a place in the semi finals. The competition continues today with matches in Group B. So, Black Queens, kudos to them. They won their first game. Coach Messi Tego was excited after that win and granted this interview after the win over Senegal. Let's have a listen to Coach Messi Tego. Last year, we lost our opening game to the host nation. And when I granted an interview, I said it wasn't a big deal because we were playing against the entire nation of Cote d'Ivoire. This year it was uh, in two away countries, that's Ghana and Senegal. And looking at the, the first game that we observed, we realized that uh, some of these teams that have come for this waffle are not too strong enough for us to say that uh, these teams can easily beat Ghana. I was trying to compare our team to uh, the strength of my team to that of um, Cote d'Ivoire and Togo. So I was also wondering what exactly was waiting for us in terms of our game with uh, Senegal. Fortunately, Senegal came in strongly with very energetic and strong girls. But uh, the, the, the cup holders really proved to them that tactically and Mentally, everything will be better than that. Coach, first 45 minutes, you played so well, but you couldn't score. Your um, strikers were just messing up at the um, 18 yard goals and only giving the opportunity that they Chances that are supposed to be goals, they are messing it up. Um, what did you tell them after the first 45 minutes? Yeah, during the first time, I realized that my attackers were very anxious. Anxiety set in, so they were just squandering the chances. So when we went for recess, I just told them. during the first time they were doing exactly what I asked them to do. I told them they should just calm down. Let's try to develop our attack right from the defense, from the goalkeeper, from the defensive third, middle third. Then, if it is possible for us to provide it, or unless of course these opponents are also very knowledgeable in terms of wing play. Other than that, when we start developing that time, 
if we are able to bring the laterals in, then we use the penetrating pass and use the lateral, uh, sorry, the flanks to at least create our chances. So in the first half, whatever I asked them to do, they were doing it perfectly. Just that they were too anxious to score. Okay, um, uh, coach, I was asking a question. Your opponent, you watched Cote d'Ivoire play against Togo. Would you say Togo, they are just uh, the weaker side in our team? Um, football is full of uncertainty. I won't say that they are the weakest side, even though they, they were beaten by five goals to zero in the host nation. But then, Ghana is a defending champion. In any country that meets Ghana, always try to prove to us that we are beatable. So, until we meet them, I won't take anything away from them. That was Coach Messi Tego, obviously ecstatic about the win explaining how she motivated the players after the first half which ended goalless and so many other stuff today the black queens will take on togo at 4 pm yes they'll take on the togolese and this will help them secure a place in the semi-final of the competition remember they are the holders of this competition they won it in 2017 and are looking to retain the title i move on to my next story which takes with the black queens and it says here the 2019 wafu the black queens are looking forward to an easy game against togo no game is easy everything that made it there deserves it but fairly easy as compared to senegal so the head coach of the black queens messi tego is anticipating an easy fixture against togo in their team's second group game in the ongoing wafu women's championship now ghana defeated senegal in their group opener on wednesday 2-0 Elizabeth Beidou and Mukarama Abdullah secured the win for the Black Queens who began their title defense on a good note. Ghana will be hoping to secure qualification to the semi-final stage in today's game if they are able to beat Togo. This is what she said. We don't have any injuries heading into our next game against Togo. Comparing Togo and Cote d'Ivoire, Cote d'Ivoire will give us a really tough opposition than Togo. Now, Black Queens Messi Kwaku Tego told the media ahead of the game. Now Messi Tego plans to rest some of her key players in today's game against Togo. Togo lost their opening game against host Cote d'Ivoire by 5-0. On Ghana's win against Senegal in the former, the former retired referee showed her intent to define the trophy for to defend the trophy for Ghana. This is what she said. Senegal came into the game with a lot of energy, but we were able to beat them tactically. We are known to be slow starters in every competition. We either draw or lose in our first game. We didn't come here to lose because we are the defending champions and most of the teams are looking up to us. We came here to defend our trophy and we have started well with a win today, she concluded. So that's Coach Messi Tego. They are here to defend the trophy for Ghana. They won in 2017. And we are all behind them. We wish the Black Queens the very best. We hope they do well in this tournament in the Wafu Women's Championship taking place in Côte d'Ivoire. And we wish them the very, very best in this competition. Let me know your thoughts on the game. What do you think will happen today against Togo? Let me know your score prediction in the comments box. I'll round off with the Black Queens starting lineup for today. Yes, it's already out this evening it will be played 4 p.m gmt sharp the black queens will face togo now the black queens will face togo in the awafu women's championship second group a game on friday afternoon now the game is scheduled to kick off at 4 p.m gmt the Champer stadium in abidjan now the senior national female team recorded a 2-0 win over senegal in their opening group match on wednesday ghana's black queens who won last year's edition of the competition will face their opponents in last in their last grand final Cote d'Ivoire in their last group match now here is Messi Tego starting lineup for today's game now Fafali Duma Hesi is in goal Gladys Amphobia Ellen Coleman Rita Autry Janet Ejiri Juliet Echampon Mavis Osu Evelyn Bedu Mokarama Abdullahi Grace Asantua Grace Enema, the substitute are Justice Trenebois, Blessing Abomadi, Anofa Anastasia Etienne, Alice Kusi, Linda Adai, 
Jane Ayayam and Azumi Adams. So Mukarama Abdullahi is in the starting lineup for this game. She started from the bench in the first game, but this game she's in the starting lineup. So that's all for today, guys. I've been talking about women's football, which doesn't get enough censorship, doesn't get enough coverage, doesn't get enough talk. And women's football, they are doing really well for the country. And I feel the black queens deserve our support all the best to them this afternoon we hope they do well i'll keep you guys updated on the results that come out of this game enjoy your weekend guys i'll see you guys in the next one